Hey guys, here's a bit of a geeky note to self video. Um, it starts with openingtree.com, one of the most useful tools out there for improving your, your openings. And I just thought that I'd, I'd put in E4, E5 with me as the black pieces. And this is going back to the beginning of this year, so the whole of 2023, and just see, are there any particular areas of weakness? Okay, so let's just go through the list. So I mean, obviously, if you haven't used this before, you put in your, whether it's chess.com, Lee Chess, whatever, um, put in your username, select whether it's black or white, and then you can put advanced filters. So here I've put from the first of the first 23, and then you hit the button and it will drag in all of your games and show you the analysis. So this is all the, all the moves that I faced as black on move two from white. Obviously, number one is knight f3, standard opening, to which we know what we're doing. We play knight c6, and uh, we might face the Italian, the Scotch, the Ponziani, whatever, the Spanish. We know what we're doing there. Bishop c4 is the bishop's opening, and against that I play, obviously, f5, the Calabresi counter gambit. And you can see here that against knight f3, I, I, I'm doing well, okay? So these little arrows here, if you can see them, that is where white scores on average and where black scores on average, and the gap in between is the draws. Here you can see that I am well in excess of black's average there against knight f3, so ha happy with that. Same deal with bishop c4, the bishop's opening which is spicy and sharp, and nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects f5, right? Um, that'd be a good name for an opening, wouldn't it? And again, yeah, I'm, I'm well up there, and in fact scoring a, like knight f3, better than 50%, so I'm happy there. Knight to c3, the Vienna. And here I do slightly better than black on average, but I am um, not winning more than white. Okay, so the Vienna might be an area to work on. We could look at and see whether my Vienna has got a bit better recently or whatever. F4, the King's Gambit. Again, I'm slightly up on, um, on, on Black's average and slightly better than White as well. So I'm relatively comfortable with a KG. Then we have D4. D4 is the center game. Again, I'm, I'm just beating the odds just slightly again, just slightly behind white. So with with this one, I take the first pawn. And then if they go for the uh, Danish, I'll play queen e7. That knocks them off their stool pretty quickly, okay? So these are all openings that I'm relatively comfortable with. And then we start to get into the funky area. So uh, we've got d3, c3, queen h5, c4, queen f3, and g3 and b3. So these are all, all the ones that I've seen at least once this year. So, obviously, let's go back to the start of all this stuff, right? Um, and reset all of these. Okay, so let's go through those minor ones in, in order of, of how they come. So, the first one that is, I would say, a sideline is D3, 2D3 from white. Now this looks a bit a bit kind of weird because he's blocking in his bishop already. And this is the Leonardis variation. And what I have generally played against this is pawn to f5 and, and pawn to f5 does absolutely fine. This is now called the reversed king's gambit because we've played the king's pawn and the king's bishop's pawn. So this is like a king's gambit declined kind of line. But obviously it's white to play. Um, let me show you what I've got this set to. I've got this set to 1800, 2000, 2200. So this is, you know, strong intermediate, strong intermediate level. And we're just going to look at the most common moves. We're not going to go very deep into this. Just want to know, you know, just how not to lose quickly out of the opening. Most common move is to take. And in general, whenever they take, you're going to play knight f6, particularly if this diagonal is open, right? Which it is here. So we play knight f6. It's plus two here for white, but most common move, knight f3, that is inaccurate. Let's, let's say a dubious move for that. And we can just play, oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Knight f3 is the most commonly played move at that level, right? It's not the most common move that I see based on opening tree. So if, if we do this, that here, knight f6, I've seen bishop g5 four times and h3. So I, I've, I've never had, what was it, knight f6, knight f3. Okay. Knight f3 is the most common move at slightly stronger level than, than what I play at. Bishop g5, at, though, is also 3,200. Knight f3, 37. So bishop g5. And that is at least inaccurate, if not mistake. So I'll call that dubious. And now we can just grab the center with d5. Generally a good idea. Um, most common move here is now bishop takes f6 and we recapture with the queen we've got development we're hitting this pawn twice so it can't easily be defended unless they want to push g4 you know so we're doing fine here um it's minus 1.4 so black is slightly better we'll add that onto the thing and black actually wins 56 percent of the time from here now you can you can go on to this you can hit preview let's in fact let's uh, let's have a go Okay, preview. Okay, we do this. We'll go Freddy Krueger style. They take, obviously we don't want the queen to come out there, so we do this. They do that, and we grab the center and take back with the queen and black is fine. Okay, happy days. Right, let's move on to the next most common sideline, the wayward queen. And I've got a really, really funny line here. Really funny line. now. The normal move that everyone plays against the wayward queen, and what I've always suggested, is knight c6, defending the pawn. However, I've, I've stumbled across something even weirder, and it's a counter gambit. It's called the Kiddle counter gambit. Because you see, here's the thing, right? This move is played two thirds of the time. Okay, d6 is played some of the time. That is slightly less accurate but with knight c6 white wins 50 percent against 45 right so i'm thinking well look can we do any better well yes this is only played eight percent of the time and it's 48 48 and it's knight to f6 and you're thinking hang on but this is the whole point of the way with queen attack is that white's actually attacking the pawn on e5 well yes he is attacking the pawn on e5 but here we block with our bishop and uh, just follow me through this, right? The most common moves, pawn to d3. You bring out, now you bring out your knight, kicking the queen. Queen most commonly goes back to here. So these are just the most common moves, right? Um, castles is most commonly played 50% of the time, but we're not even going to do that. We push pawn to d5. They will push on. Knight to g4. And now it looks like, you know, we're a pawn down, but we've got three pieces out on the board and white's only got a queen, you know? And white is gonna be well out of their depths at this point. They're not gonna know what to do. They play knight f3. Our other knight comes in now. And you're going, come on, this isn't right. We're, we're like giving up a whole piece and they will always take the knight. But now, you continue with bishop h4, supported by the queen. Um, queen defends that. Bishop defends that. Queen <clears throat> might go to <clears throat> excuse me, f4 or f3. Uh, doesn't make a massive difference. Pawn comes out. And we come in with quite a devastating attack. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. So I think, you know, that's, I, I'm not going to remember this one, but I thought that's a line we could go down. Um, let's just see if, so from this point, actually Queen F3 has been played twice. So I'm going to promote that variation, but that's, hang on. Queen F3 is a mistake, easily a mistake. Okay, because we, we take here with check. King goes to D1. And then we win the knight anyway. Right, so it's it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that if I face the wayward queen. Now then, let's re reset this one. E4, E5, C4. This is the whale opening um, from the English 
Now the English would normally start with one C4, and then after then after E5 they play E4. That would be the more common way into the whale opening, but we've transposed. Okay, again F5, F5 does very well. <clears throat> Best in practice. They will take. What do we do? We always bring our knight out when this diagonal is open. Okay. They're going to push d3, defending that pawn. We push d5, contesting the pawn. They take, we snatch the pawn back. And black wins 53% against 43 from here. All pretty good stuff. Now then, I, I've actually faced this one today. And I think I lost it as well in blitz. So e4, e5, queen f3, the Napoleon attack. Okay. Again, f5, best by test. Looks really weird. Looks like you're giving up a pawn. Um, most commonly, they will capture with the, uh, the, the pawn, not the queen. <clears throat> just chuck your knight out as normal. All right, you can, we're just playing very similar moves. Um, that knight f6 so commonly follows. Uh, now, of course, we've got the two central pawns. We push d5. Stop if you've seen this before. It's you know, It's a different opening, but... We, we're recycling the same moves over and over. Bring out your other knight. Black wins 55% against 39 from here. Right, so this is something I might want to drill just every couple of weeks. And now we're actually into a couple of a couple of no-name openings. E4, E5, G3. Now G3 is weird because it's like a King's Indian. So White wants to Fianchetto his bishop there on G2. But he's already just put a pawn in the way. Bit odd. Okay. Now here, best by test, is to contest the pawn straight away in the middle. They will go and fianchetto their bishop anyway. You take, out comes the bishop. And now knight f6 with tempo. Hitting the bishop. Bishop retreats back into its hole. It's minus 1.4 for um, black already. Black wins 59% of here. And after you develop your knight to c6, black wins 60%. This is over 4,000 games, by the way, against just 35 for white. So, Freddy Krueger lives. Seriously. Okay, and the final one is on the other side of the board, the other Fianchetto. Now, this makes a bit more sense, because putting your bishop here, at least you're targeting a pawn. Okay. Right, so knight f6 here. F5 doesn't really make sense. So, I mean, the thing is, there's loads of good. Knight F, bring out either knight is fine for black. F5 is also 54%, actually. So F5 is perfectly playable here as well. So, I mean, let's even look at F5. Okay, this is, this is how I do things. They take, it's going to be knight F6. Of course it is, 54%. Still doing fine. Bishop B2, of course you are. Okay, targeting this pawn, it's undefended. Knight C6. We win 57% of the time. And quite honestly, that's all you really need to remember, isn't it? I think. So yeah, um, feel free to dive into this. The, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kruger Sidelines. I'll put the link in the description. Knock yourself out. I will practice it every now and again, because you never know what's going to come up. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.